Today we are going to talk about the distributive property. The distributive property is used to simplify expressions. Now, when I have this expression, five being multiplied to the group of three plus four, I can do this in two different ways. I can either simplify that group first, or I can distribute that five to each part of the group. Now, I should get the same answer either way. Whether I go ahead and simplify that group first and then multiply it to the factor outside, or I could distribute getting me both the same answer. Okay, I've simplified it down. So in he, this one, I just simply um, solved for that group and then multiplied it to that outside factor. Here, I took that outside factor and distributed it to each part inside my parentheses, still getting me to the same answer. Now, the issue is when we get to algebra, we are given expressions like this. Here, I cannot simplify that inside group first because I don't know the value of x. This is where the distributive property becomes incredibly important. I still want to be able to simplify my expression because I have like terms here. So I use that distributive property and I take that five and distribute it to each term within my parentheses. This gets me to five times x plus five times four. So now instead of multiplying that five to the whole group, I can multiply it to each part. This simplifies down to five x plus 20. And now I've got my simplified expression. So what the distributive property tells me is that I can take an outside factor so a number outside of a parentheses being multiplied to the parentheses, and I can distribute it to each part. Now this works with both addition inside or subtraction. It will not work with multiplication or division. But once we still have that um, addition or subtraction, again, same thing. And then I've just got 5x minus 20. These are my simplified versions. So sometimes we can look at this algebraically. Sometimes we will see it like this. A times B plus C equals A times B plus A times C. This is telling us that we can multiply that a to each term individually to simplify it down. Now, one more big piece to know is this is called your factored form. This is factored out where this is expanded out. This is your expanded form. And then we can simplify it out from that expanded out. We can simplify it down to as few terms as possible.